As of the 122nd episode of the Sun and Moon anime, Ash has currently caught a total of 87 different species of Pokemon. And while a good number of those Pokemon may have originally been owned by other trainers, he has also borrowed other trainers' Pokemon and has had command over certain wild Pokemon on multiple different occasions. And while he may not have had complete ownership of them, he did have temporary ownership of these Pokemon. And there are a lot of interesting and unexpected Pokemon that he's commanded before. So in today's video, we're gonna go over all of Ash's borrowed, or in other words, temporarily owned Pokemon. And helping me out with this video, we have Lumio City's most popular trainer and anime enthusiast. What's going on everyone? Lumio's trainer Zach here. Like Hybrid mentioned, we're gonna be going over Ash's temporary Pokemon, but since there's quite a lot of them, we're just gonna briefly talk about most of them while going in depth with some of the more important ones. Every Pokemon that he partnered with that wasn't his will be mentioned in this video. So this includes ride Pokemon, rented Pokemon, other trainers Pokemon, and even wild Pokemon. But don't worry, as we'll be sure to specify which category each Pokemon falls under as we go through the list. Once you're done watching this video, be sure to go check out the video we made over on Zach's channel on Ash's top 10 capture moments. You definitely don't want to miss it. So with all that out of the way, let's get started. Pidgey and Rattata. The first two Pokemon that Ash borrowed were ironically Pidgey and Rattata from trainers that left them to heal at Viridian City's Pokemon Center. Ash tried to use them when Team Rocket was attacking the center in the second episode, but Jesse's Ekans intimidated them away before he even got to use them. Ponyta, which later evolved into Rapidash. I'm sure fans of the old anime remember this one. A race called the Big P Pokemon Race was held in the episode The Flame Pokemon Athlon, and the top contender of the race, Laura, was injured by Team Rocket. Thankfully, Ash decided to ride Laura's Ponyta in her place, and while they were losing, Ponyta evolved into Rapidash during the race, allowing them to take first place. Porygon In the banned episode Electric Soldier Porygon, Ash and his friends had to borrow a Porygon from Dr. Akirabara so that they could enter cyberspace and stop Team Rocket from stealing Pokemon from the PC. But unfortunately, using Porygon in cyberspace eventually led it to be banned from the anime. If you want to know more, then be sure to check out my video on why Porygon shouldn't have been banned. Togepi This one's a weird one because Ash is the one who found the Togepi egg in Attack of the Prehistoric Pokemon and was the one to mainly take care of the egg as well. Even after Togepi hatched, Ash won the battle between Meowth, Brock, and Misty for the ownership of Togepi, but it still decided to stick with Misty. But still, it doesn't discount the fact that Ash is the one who took care of it as an egg. Weezing, Arbok, and Meowth No, they're not actually the Weezing, Arbok, and Meowth that you think they are. During the episode The Ultimate Test, Ash had to partake in the Pokemon League entrance exam. During this exam, the instructor made Ash choose three Pokemon from a set of Pokeballs that he provided. And funny enough, all three of them turned out to be the same species of Pokemon that Team Rocket used. It definitely made for some really good laughs. Hoot Hoot In the episode Illusion Confusion, Ash and the gang entered a mysterious forest on their way to Violet City that required trainers to own or borrow a Hoot Hoot to pass. This was because they had the ability Foresight to help identify ghost types that might attack in the night. Unfortunately for Ash, he didn't have a Noctowl at the time, but thankfully, Hagatha and Nagatha were nice enough to let him borrow a Hoot Hoot. Now if only Agatha were that nice. Psyduck and Staryu in the episode, The Firing Squad, Ash borrowed Misty Psyduck and Staryu to use in the Fire and Rescue Grand Prix competition along with this Pikachu and Squirtle to see which teams can put out the fire of a burning house faster. Of course, it wasn't Ash, as Psyduck didn't even listen to him and kinda got in the way of Staryu's water gun, making it a Psyduck rescue mission for Squirtle. That's what you'd get for trying to borrow Misty's Pokemon without asking Ash. Sea King in the episode Hook, Line, and Sinker, Ash participated in the Sea King fishing contest, and obviously, he caught a Sea King for a bit. Nothing is known about the Sea King though, since it had to be released back into the wild after the competition. Some contest, huh? Arky the Arcanine In the episode The Stolen Stones, we're introduced to the siblings Ramona and Keegan, who run a career service with a pack of Arcanine. Arky was Keegan's main Arcanine, and after Team Rocket stole the Firestones, separated the group, and broke Keegan's arm, Ash had to take command of and ride Arky to regroup with Brock, Misty, and Ramona and retrieve the Firestones from Team Rocket. Yet another fire type trend that Ash has, but this time, it also involves injuries to other people. Pidgeot 
When Ash first traveled to Hoenn in Hoenn alone, he got into an encounter with Team Rocket which caused him to miss his boat to Little Root Town. How a boat can get there is beyond me. But after explaining this to Officer Jenny, she lets Ash and Pikachu ride on her Pidgeot so that he can catch up to the boat. Wouldn't need to borrow Jenny's Pidgeot if you still had yours, Ash. Flygon In the movie Jirachi Wishmaker, the Pokemon of Farina, Jirachi's homeland, try and save Jirachi from Groudon and the Great Butler. But most of this help mainly came from this Flygon who let Ash and Max fly on it and command it. Lombre So you know how Brock gets heart eyes for almost every girl in Pokemon? Yeah, well in the episode Once in a Mawile, Ash's Corefish also gets heart eyes for the Mawile of the girl that Brock fell for, Samantha. Samantha and Mawile were ribbon dancers and were going to perform for a huge crowd when Team Rocket showed up to steal the Mawile. Unfortunately for them, they grabbed Brock's Lombre instead. So since Brock is so whipped and is stalling away for time for Samantha and Mawile's performance with Corefish, Ash, May, Max, and Pikachu go save Lombre, and Ash even gets the chance to use Lombre in battle there. Man, Brock, as great as a trainer you may be, women got you all types of messed up. At least he was super happy about Lombre's evolution into Louis Colo later that episode. Hitmonlee In Pasta La Vista, Master Ham and his son Kyle are arguing as to who should take over the fighting dojo. To settle the argument, they decide to have a Pokemon battle. But since Master Ham's back gives out, Ash takes Master Ham's place with his Hitmonlee. And cause May's a foodie, she takes Kyle's place in the battle with this Hitmonchan. And yes, this episode does in fact take place in Saffron City. Piplup, Sudowoodo, and Pachirisu The Amazing Race was the first episode where the main cast had their party swap because of some accident. In this episode, the gang is split up by a bunch of Gravelers and Golem that were rolling away from an irritated Onyx. Ash ended up with Dons Piplup and Pachirisu and Brock Sudowoodo, which led to some bonding between the four of them which we probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise. He also ended up using Piplup later in an episode called Expedition to Onyx Island, when Dawn was in Unova and Piplup got separated from Dawn. So Ash took care of it for the time being and even used it in a battle against the wild Onyx. Guess Onyx plays a big role in Ash and Piplup's friendship. Raichu Yep. Despite not involving his own Pikachu and Pikachu's constant rivalry with all kinds of different Raichu, Ash used one before in the episode Camping It Up. He was given a Raichu to train during the first day of the Summer School Academy, and despite its initial shy encounter, it warmed up to Ash and they both even managed to battle well too. Spoik and Mantike In the episode 1 Team, 2 Team, Red Team, Blue Team, Ash had used a Spoink and a Mantike for the first and second rounds of the Pokemon Triathlon. The third race involved their own Pokemon, so he didn't get to borrow any more after that. Luxio In the episode Leading Astray, a bunch of stray Pokemon from the sewer, with its leader being Luxio, try to help a Whalmer that was stuck under a drawbridge regroup with the rest of the Waylord that I was separated from. And with Ash's help, Luxio and the stray Pokemon helped the newly evolved Waylord regroup with the rest of its family. Cottony Ash helped a wild Cottony win over another Cottony that it was interested in so they could fly away together on the Diamond Breeze in the episode Cottony in Love. Getting help from Ash to win over a potential love interest, that's like going to Officer Jenny to get your Pokemon healed. But I guess it worked out for Cottony. Cobalion In the movie Kiram vs the Swords of Justice, Ash just temporarily rode on Cobalion to escape a collapsing, abandoned mine. Caterpie into Metapod into Butterfree Yep, Ash had to help out another Butterfree in memory of his old one, and he kinda did the exact same thing he did with it, as in the episode Butterfree and Me, Ash along with Iris and Silen found a lazy Caterpie who was about to be left behind by its swarm. So I decided to help it evolve from Caterpie to Metapod to Butterfree so that it could fly away with its swarm, and to parallel the events of Bye Bye Butterfree. Rhyhorn As we're entering the X and Y series, there's only one reason as to why Ash would borrow a Rhyhorn. To enter a Rhyhorn race. So in the episode Giving Chase at the Rhyhorn race, Ash had to borrow a Rhyhorn that he didn't get along with too well to participate in the race at Odyssey Village. But eventually, the two managed to work well with one another. Scatterbug into Spupa into Vivion This Vivion was stolen by some guy named Dolan in the episode To Catch a Pokemon Smuggler. Dolan was trying to smuggle a bunch of scatterbugs from other regions, but this one fell off the truck while Dolan was on the run from Officer Jenny. Ash and the Kalos gang ended up finding Scatterbug, and were all there when it evolved into Spupa and then Vivion, and Ash commanded it while putting an end to Dolan's smuggling ways. Am I the only one who also got Bye Bye Butterfree vibes again with this one? Skiddo You remember how we were able to ride Skiddo in Pokemon X and Y? Well, 
Ash basically rode a Skiddo in the episode A Race for Home to show off that feature and to also take part in Grace's racing training. Floriges. This Floriges is one that invaded Ash's Gudra's homeland, but it really only invaded so that it could use the spring water to heal her child Floette. Team Rocket manipulated her into attacking Ash and the Pokemon of the wetlands, as she believed that Team Rocket would help her heal her Floette. But once Team Rocket betrayed her, she immediately joined Ash and Gudra to take down Team Rocket, help restore the wetlands, and even heal her child. Pancham and Luxray. In the episode, So You're Having a Bad Day, Ash, Serena, Clement, Bonnie, and Team Rocket all run into each other and get split up by three angry Pangoro. Don't know why the Pangoro decided to chase after one of their own, but Ash ended up alone with Serena's Pancham, but later found his Fletchinder, Halucha, and Clement's Luxray. They continued their search, and soon afterwards, the entire group managed to reunite with one another. Latios, Latias, and Shiny Rayquaza In the movie Hoopa Clash of Ages, Ash fought against the Shadow Hoopa Unbound, and during the fight, he commanded these three Hoenn legends that were also able to Mega Evolve on their own. Probably the strongest trio of Pokemon he has ever commanded, to be honest. Mamoswine Just like in the X and Y games, Ash rode Mamoswine in Kalos to get through Frost Cavern and the Snowy Mountains. Litleo Ash saved Litleo from the leader of a pride of Pyro and Litleo, and helped Litleo become independent and join the rest of its pride in the episode A Fiery Rite of Passage. Charger Bug in the episode So Long Sophocles, Ash caught this charger bug in a cage for Sophocles to catch as a goodbye present when him and his friends all thought that he was moving far away. But after Sophocles caught the thing, he revealed to everyone that he was just moving down the street. So Ash could have had a Vicavolt on his own team. Oh well, at least he got to take command of charger bug during the charger bug race in the episode Mounting an Electrifying Charge. Snowy. Since Ash is in school now, Professor Kukui decided to have a little school project in the episode The Old Raisin Switch, where all six of the main cast would switch their partner Pokemon with someone else. And it was here that Ash was given Snowy, Lily's Alolan Vulpix, to take care of. At first, Snowy couldn't really get close to Ash, but after some help from Litten, Snowy was able to get close to Ash and even was able to work with Ash in a battle against Lily and Pikachu. Buzzwool, Stegataga, and Feromosa. Now while Ash did encounter and catch these Pokemon in three separate episodes, he only ever caught them for the sake of his mission as an Ultra Guardian, and quickly returned them back home through the Ultra Wormholes. So I grouped them together. Buzzwool was found and caught in the episode, A Mission of Ultra Urgency, Stegataga in the episode, The Long Vault Home, and Feromosa in the 114th episode of the Sun and Moon anime series, which doesn't have an English episode title as of yet. Unofficial Pokemon here we have Ash's unofficial Pokemon. The reason why they're unofficial is because we don't know whether Ash caught these Pokemon or borrowed the Pokemon, so just to be safe, we decided to quickly include them onto this list. And they are Haunter, Larvitar, and Nebby. Not much explanation is needed as these are some of Ash's most talked about and popular Pokemon anyway. Ride Pokemon. And finally, to quickly go over the ride Pokemon that Ash has used within the Alola region, we have Sharpedo, Tauros, Lapras, Pelipper, Stoutland, Garchomp, Mudsdale, and Mantine. Yeah, he's got quite a number of Pokemon that were unable to ride in the games. But what'd you expect? It is Ash after all. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed. Ash definitely had some really cool moments with Pokemon that weren't his. But if you want to see some cool moments that he had with his own Pokemon, then be sure to check out our video of Ash's top 10 capture moments over on Zack's channel. If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to hero punch a like button. If you didn't, then hit that dislike button. Let us know how you feel. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. What did you think of Ash's temporary or barred Pokemon? And which of them stood out to you the most? Let us know. Share the video around if you want to help us with the channel. And finally, subscribe to both our channels and hit the little bell icon if you want to stay up to date with all our content. Take care of yourselves, have a wonderful day, and I will see you all over on Zach's channel, alright? Later.